This is the second part of my tutorial series. This is going to be how to make loads. Loads. This is not the proper way to make them to reduce the polygons to make them so they don't take a incredible size uh, space on the file. This is just going to be to make it look right. So we're working again with the Vapid Liberator monster truck here. And what we're going to do is we're going to only mess with the loads that we actually messed with. Which in this case is going to be the chassis. Even though we didn't mess with the chassis, it does show an outline of the paint job the way it is. So we are going to have to take that one off. So what we're going to do is to get the loads, you're going to select the one that you want that's compounded and dismiss it. It'll show up on the screen there. And the other ones we did, we did the body shell. We did the driver side front door, the passenger side front door, the front bumper, the bonnet, and I think that was it. Should be everything. So what you want to do, I'm going to save it again. We're going to start here with the body shell. If you look, let's start with the chassis actually. What we want to do is hide everything first. So as you can see with the chassis, it has this paint job. We're going to delete that. That was load three. This is load two, which doesn't have the body. That's fine. Load one, and this is load zero. Okay, but what we're going to do anyways, just to keep it nice and clean, is we're going to delete all the loads other than L0. Next, you're going to do the next one. So the front bumper. As you can see, there's our template front bumper for the UV map. But now, if you look at the loads, that's L0. L1 still has the Liberator paint job on it, and L2. So we're going to delete that, delete that, only keep the front bumper. And you probably want to highlight that. There we go. What you don't want to do is highlight the compound one, because what we're going to do is make copies of these. And it's going to make your hierarchy too big, and it's just going to be a pain in the ass to work on. So the next thing we're going to do, guessed it, the passenger front door there, fine, but then the others are not. So we're going to delete this, delete this, this, and we're just going to do that all the way down. You want to select, it should be the first load. It should be L0. going to go over here, you're gonna delete the other two. This is usually where my Z modeler crashes a lot, so it crashes a lot. This this and that's it that's everything that we fiddled with for the uh template i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that want to sit show all take a look that so what you want to do is you want to check mark everything that you want to make a copy of which is basically the stuff that is uncompounded so all your L zeros. So these are all selected right now. But you do not want to select the compound itself. So do not check this. Just check the mesh itself. See, that's just the mesh. If I select this, it's the compound, the little green square right there. Don't want to do that or else. I mean, you could do that, but it just makes the process harder. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to select, quad, create, copy. You're going to highlight everything. And now you have all of your L zeros copied, or I'm sorry, highlighted. You're gonna hit, you're gonna left click. You're gonna see you got another one there now. Now you have an L1. You're gonna do it again. Now you have an L2. And you're gonna do it one more time and you have an L3. I always like to do up to L3 just because it it's good for distance. Um, it makes it easier to see the vehicle. And I also forgot something here. We're gonna hide out all. I think the wheel is probably going to have a problem with it too. 0, L1, and L3. Yeah, so the wheel is going to need to be redone as well. And there's work. Back from the crash. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it for the wheel now. We're going to just select, quad, create, copy. We're going to create an L1, L2, and L3. Okay? So this is... The next part for this do is oh you know what we did not co do our copies for everything did not save at that point. 
So we're going to go ahead and copy these again as well from the crash. From copy, select all of them. Okay, so now that we got that, what you're going to do next, save, save it as another crash. It's in place now. I'm going to do A3 and then I'm going to put load. So I know what part of the process I'm vehicle. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight the compound. You're going to go to convert to compound, which will make it bold. You're going to lock it so it doesn't go to anything else. And with all these not highlighted, now you're going to click L0 and drag the first one up to here. You're going to click L1, drag it up there. You're going to click L2, drag it up there and so on and so forth until you got them all done. Once you got all of them on there, you're gonna deselect this one, you're gonna unlock it, and now it's done. Now this is converted to a compound so the game recognizes it. Unless you do. I think my finger got stuck and dragged it. But uh, you're gonna do that for everything that you uncompounded. So the body shell is gonna be next. This one really quick. Next one kind of slow, just to that one as well. And as you can see, the part is going to disappear because I don't have this highlighted up here. So like door, driver's side, front. You're going to select it, highlight it. You're going to convert to compound, lock, L0, L0, L1, L1, 2, get up for L2, drag it up for L3, and now it disappears because this is not highlighted. I'm going to deselect that and compound. The bonnet. Hood. Depending on where you live. The other door. Save it real quick just to make sure I don't have to redo this. Save as much as you can because this can be a really time consuming process, especially if you're working on, say, like an entire car's loads. So you get a car with just L zeros. Well, you have to do this process for everything that's a compound. You gotta do headlights, taillights, brake lights, glass, hoods, body parts uh seats everything so it, it gets to be really tedious and really boring and it can really drag you down if you're almost done and you haven't saved and then all of a sudden you're demodeler crap. now for the chassis what i like to do just to make sure i don't get anything done incorrectly here is i'll convert it i'll lock it but then i'll scroll down because the chassis goes towards the bottom and i'll start doing it from down here so that way i don't accidentally select something else by Bacon. And that's it. You've con you've now created loads for the vehicle. Um, don't worry about that. That's just that screen. I don't know why the user screen likes to do that. Like it mushes it together and messes it up. But um, look here. Like L two, all of a sudden it starts to look right, and L three. Now, L3 should not have too much detail to it. This is like the farthest point almost for the vehicle. It should basically be an outline so when you're driving down the street, you can recognize what this vehicle is. So in this case, it would, and more than none, what you want it to be is just the body of the vehicle and then like a, and the wheels, tires. So you can see coming down the road, you go, oh, hey, that's the Bigfoot truck in this case. You don't want the seats to be in there, although the seats are, I mean, it's they're, it's a rock star car, so it's probably low enough polygon count. It's not going to hurt anything, but you're not going to see the seats from that far away. You're going to see an occupant sitting in the seat, which is fine. Um, headlights, stuff like that, you probably won't see. But um, yeah, that's how you create loads for a vehicle. Now, if you're not using a rock star car, what you want to do next, and this is, again, this is the cheap, fast, easy way to do it is L0 is going to be your most detailed part of the car, which is the case here. 
gonna save this right now just because I'm not gonna import this into the game with the optimization to be um, on the tutorial video so you can see it. So what you do next is L0 is your most detailed. So you're not gonna touch this. You're gonna go to L1. And, and again, this is not for Rockstar cars. Rockstar cars tend to not be that high in polygon count. So you don't really have to worry about this. This is for cars like when you're making a police cruiser and you put like 50 siren controls and a ton of lights on the car and it's just, it's going to be polygon. What you're going to do, and again, this is the cheap way. The, the more correct way is to take it and do each part, but it takes a lot of time to do that. You're going to highlight everything. You're going to go to modify. You're going to go to optimize. You're going to click here. What it's going to do is it's going to try to optimize the car so the polygons and the um, triangles don't take up so much. And then it's asking for a percentage. What I usually do, you have to play around with it to see, is I'll do like 90, 80, 75. But some models, you might only be able to do 98, 95, 93. It, it, it really depends on how you see the vehicle. So like right now, you can see that L1 is at 90%, and it still looks pretty good, which is good for when you walk up to the vehicle. It's not going to look terrible. You're going to unhighlight it. You go to L2. Now highlight that. Optimize again. I'm going to do 80 here. See how that looks. 80, and then you click down here so it adjusts to the 80, and then you can see it. See, now you're starting to see some textures break away. You're seeing polygons that shouldn't be as messed up as they are because it's not mapped correctly so see how the glass is moving this is where you need to kind of fine tune it so obviously 80 is going to be too much we'll want to do we'll try like an 85 see if 85 looks yeah see 85 is not so bad so 85 the vehicle still looks somewhat decent and it's still showing here that it's reducing the polygons and then the last one, after you unhighlight it, is the L3. And guessed it, highlight, optimize. And since 85 was that one, 80 sucked. We'll try 82. Let's see how 82 is. 82 is still not looking good. So we might only be able to go to 84. We might even have to just stick at 85. Okay, 84 should be okay. And that's how you optimize your vehicle. But... I'm not going to do that for this one because I don't want to. It's a Rockstar car. Rockstar cars are very low polygon because they know Rockstar Games knows what their game can handle as far as polygons go. So they don't get overly detailed with their cars. So I, what I did is I reverted back to the save before I did the optimization. If you look inside here, you'll see that everything is converted to a compound that needs to be. And we have our template, and if you do L1, L2, L3, you can see that some of the details on the vehicle start to disappear. Like, you wouldn't see a steering wheel from really far away, especially on a lifted truck like this. And what we're going to do next is we're going to export. I'm going to make a new folder, call it testing. I can test model. And you're going to name it monster, or whatever your file name is up here. Mine's going to be monster because this is export. And it should give you uh, something down here. If it comes up with the error messages, like, hey, I couldn't find the spec map for this material, that blah, blah, blah. It's fine. It's okay. It, it, it's n nothing to be worried about. However, if you, go to, if you look at the file and the size says zero, that means it didn't export correctly. That means there's something wrong down here that it will tell you that you need to fix usually within the material browser or you didn't name it something right or save it right it's a couple different things that it could be so if this is zero you did something wrong if it's got a size there then you're in the clear so now we did that that's the low model that's the um that's the l1 l2 and l3 file what you're going to do next is you're going to type in monster again or your vehicle file whatever it's called to the name underscore high now what that does is exported highest load only. So it only exported the L0. So now you have an L0 and you have that as its own file. And then you have one, two, three, that's its own file as well. So now we're done with it. 
what you're going to want to do next is I'm going to go to testing. I think I have the original files. So I'm going to put this all in here. In my testing folder, I have the new file, texture file from the original one, and then there's the uh, L01 and my template. Now, this vehicle, I don't know why. I guess they Rockstar Games moved it down here at one point. I never knew this. This is the first time I've seen this. Um, they moved some of the vehicles from out of update and X64E, and they moved it down. Why? I don't know, but that's just where it is. It's in the uh, X64W. So for this vehicle, if you go into uh, multiplayer independence, DLC, X64, levels, PA5, vehicles, independence vehicles. If you look inside here, I'm going to take this. It's not necessary, but I like to take it. Just... If you look inside here, you're going to see that you got the monster truck logo, and the... you can delete these two. I can't because edit mode. Make sure you're in edit mode. I'm going to delete. Oh, might be not. I'm going to keep these just to be safe, so that way it doesn't uh... Doesn't like delete the flag or something. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna move your files that you created into here. Now before I do that, as you can see, here is the original truck like it should be. Now when I move these files into here, now the file size is increased just because of the way that I did it. You're gonna see now the truck shows up. Now the paint job doesn't show up, and the reason because of that is your template's not in there. What you're going to do next is to add your template. You're going to ytd. You're going to delete the stuff you don't need. So that's the flag. Okay, so you can delete that, and you can delete the logos. You actually you might need that. I want to leave the rest of it here. Just what you're going to do is go to import. You're going to go to your template. You're going to import that. Save. And now, when you look inside here, your template shows up. What I'm going to do now is drag this out. And we're going to start our game and see if it replaces it. If our vehicle spawns correct. What's up, Franklin? And of course, I don't remember what this is under off road. You got yeah, a big I mean, dick a... for me, Daddy? Oh, that's nice. Okay. A big limber. Hey, yep. Me, so there we go. The truck is now in the game. Yeah, it looks funny, but that's because we haven't created a paint job for it yet. But now you can. So, oh, this thing has no lights. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Now we have our Vapid Limit or Liberator in the game. It's set up to be template to, and UV map to whatever you want it to do. If you go to vehicle options and you go down to vehicle livery menu, it's just not set up in the trainer, but you can change that however you want to. But if you notice when you do vehicle colors, you can't really see the color. It's behind that now. And when I get out of the vehicle here, I start to run away, you're going to notice that it doesn't change. You don't see the Liberator anymore. It's just like it should be. And with that being said, that is how you properly create a template, UV map it to a vehicle, and create the load so the template shows up correctly. Hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I might do a couple more. I might do a complete, like, speaking of me building an entire vehicle, like a police vehicle or something. But um, to be honest with you, it's really hard to do without music. I love listening to music when I'm doing this, so not having the music is not cool. But uh, thank you for watching. I hope this helps you uh, as that truck gets hit. And uh, I'll see you later.